Welcome to Electro Online, and now we're going to take another look on how to calculate the current in an LC circuit. Just like we can find the velocity of the mass on a spring that's oscillating back and forth, we can find the current in an LC oscillating circuit by assuming that the total energy is always conserved. In other words, we can say that the total energy in the circuit is always going to be equal to the energy contained within the capacitor plus the energy contained within the inductor at any point in time. So if we start out with this situation right here where there's no energy in the inductor and all the energy is across the capacitor, it will be equal to one half total charge squared divided by C. So we can write this as the total kinetic energy would be one half times Q squared divided by the capacitance. And that will be equal to the energy stored in the capacitor at any point in time, which of course would depend upon how much charge we have on the capacitor. So that would be one half times the charge as a function of time squared divided by C plus the energy stored in the inductor, which is equal to this at any point in time. So that would be one half times the inductance times the current squared. So if we solve this equation for the current, that will let us know what the current is in terms of the charge on the capacitor. So first of all, we can multiply both sides by 2 so all the 1 halves disappear. And then we can move the Q squared over C to the other side and turn the equation around. So we have uh, I squared times L is equal to Q squared over C minus Q squared over C. The next thing we can do is divide both sides by L and factor out a capacitance. So this becomes I squared is equal to 1 over L times C times the quantity Q squared minus Q squared. Remember, capital Q is the maximum charge that the capacitor can have, and Q is the capacitance as the function of the charge as a function of time, which is defined by that equation right there. Now all we have to do is take the square root of both sides. So therefore, from here we can say that I is equal to plus or minus the square root of, um, well, actually, probably we want to do it like this is equal to 1 over the square root of L times C times the square root of Q squared minus Q as a function of time squared, like that. And that now becomes a new equation for the current in an LC circuit. Remember that 1 over the square root of LC is equal to the angle of frequency, and of course F is 1 over 2 pi times the angle of frequency. That again shows you that relationship between the oscillatory motion of the charge going back and forth from one side of the capacitor to the other side of the capacitor. So here we can have the current described in terms of the angle of frequency and the charge on the capacitor at any point in time. In the previous video, we had the current as a function of time. Here we'll have it as a function of charge on the capacitor. And that's again how we describe what physically happens in a mathematical sense in an LC circuit.